Hello everyone, I'm Alesh and I'm here with my mind, which is a new project from Tobias von Schneider. I have just received my early access invitation, so I thought I would probably show you kind of my first experience with the app and you can test it together to see how it all works. So I get invited over an email. I have received this uh, short message basically talking about the early access with a couple of links and then the main one obviously to set up my mind. So let's first kind of look into what it this and then we can uh, just do editing together for the first time. So I'm gonna click the pro tips using new mind, um, which gets me into the how it works page. So it's like sort of an introduction of what the tool does. So it allows you to, to save notes, bookmarks, inspiration articles and images all in one place. So it is a tool where you can basically save editing and have it accessible anytime, anywhere. If I scroll down a little bit, there is an intro of individual features and how it sort of works. So uh, there is a little bit of artificial intelligence, which automatically tags all the content and categorizes for me. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I remember using some other tools and it was usually the most painful point for me to categorize everything and add tags to it. So it's good that this tool does it automatically. There is a short video which we can play to, to see how it works, but for now I'm not gonna spoil it. So we can see it on our own later. Uh, in this video so let's just continue scrolling there is also mentioned that the search can basically uh, I, uh like help get you anything you can search for um you can search for tags i assume for keywords for uh for colors uh, i would expect that so let's see how it how it goes um i can also uh, save articles i can use recipes books anything just in one place that's 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 the plan and then the deep search, which will allow me to do some more combo search phrases, uh, which will probably get me specifically what I need in the given moment. So that's sort of a quick intro, how, how it works. This is the link I clicked in an email. And uh, the second one I wanted to go into, which was also um, mentioned there, was the manifesto. So I, I can actually access it here. And uh, it describes how my mind works, what is the principles and what they care about. Uh, or what they promise in, in, in this case, which is that the tool itself has no social features, no collaboration, amenity, amenity metrics, uh, social pressure tracking ads, and it's gonna, always gonna be private, which is pretty good for uh, for a tool like this, because um, I assume this is like a like something that should be private, especially saying inspiration and editing, and, and uh, as the name itself, it's, it's your mind, not everyone else's. So this sort of like a gesture or a philosophy of, of the tool is, some, is something I really like and uh, the kind of the, the, the phrase of extension of your mind is, is something I can definitely recognize myself with. So that was a quick intro. Let's uh, probably set it up together. So we can go back and click set up uh, your new mind. And that gets me into an empty page, which is the library, which I'm supposed to fill in. I'm just gonna close these two so we can focus on this. And there is a, there is probably introduction video in the middle. Uh, we could probably start playing this first to see how it looks and then then uh, just click everything together uh, and there's two cards first to kind of um, give me instructions to drag and, drag and drop an image and then install a browser extension which we can do afterwards so let's per first play the video um, to see how the tool looks and how you can control it so that's Tobias speaking about how, how to how to use it All right, so so my mind will. All right, so it's gonna be like a, like an extension which allows me to save pretty much anything into a library or my mind, and then I can access later from videos, or articles as as we saw right now, images, even text. That's pretty good. That's what I usually usually do as well. Saving like a portions of text products would be interesting if I could see like a like a price of a product in the library or something like that without clicking the, the detail all right and then if i save anything it's gonna be categorized so if now as she is showing if you as you search it just pops out the the content you need oh this is the detail so tags on the right those colors on the left i'm uh, definitely curious how that works search for it and then that's it of course there's a lot more things all right do, such as searching for all your articles so i can even search different content types that's that's handy just try it out add as much as you can to the 
We're supposed to add as much as we can. So I assume that the tool will probably learn more about us and kind of categorize everything. So that was the quick intro. If we go back, uh, let's let's try to install the, the extension. So I'm going to go into the store. Um, so this is like a detail. And yeah, we have the Chrome link into the store right here. So I'm going to add it to Chrome. Add extension. Should probably pop up on the right side. Yep. Got it. It's automatically is a pin, so I'm gonna close this and this, and this is sort of like a empty state. I guess that this should probably be the library. So let's try to do the other thing. Let's try to drag and drop an image into this. So I have a couple of images I have saved before I started recording this video. So I'm just gonna drag and drop them here. That is four images and one GIF. So let's see if the tool recognizes GIF and it will be automatically playing it as well uh, for us. That's something I would probably probably expect. So it's uploading. We have the GIF, all the images right here. We have everything. Yeah, we got it. Um, got it in a nice overview. So uh, this is probably how it looks when there is some content. I really like how it's like building up to good, building up the grid already. I'm just gonna hide my camera for a quick and show you that on the left side you can actually resize the grid. Uh, by clicking these icons so we can have smaller thumbnails if you for example want to fit in more more uh, Images or more blue packs in one place and there is also like a settings icon which we can get into in a minute just gonna uh, Open up the camera back again um, So let's probably try to search for something. I guess we could we have like an orange image here So let's try to search for orange and if it recognizes the color Oh, so we have the image right there that's pretty cool let's try to open up a detail i assume that there's gonna be like a tag or something uh, so i have colors on the left side uh i assume if i let's try to click it maybe it's gonna like show more images no it just copies the color that's that's uh, that's also handy if i left like something i want to quickly get a color from i can just click this and automatically copy that and on the right side we have the tags which were probably set up for us from the tool itself I can also add some additional ones if I want. Can I rename this? All right, so I can even rename the image. I can create a temporary share link. That's, uh, that's good. And then I can also delete the image by clicking this icon, but that's not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna close that. Uh, what if I open a GIF? Does it play like a bigger preview? Yeah, got it. And also adds some tags automatically. So since we have mostly images, what if I try to search image? maybe yeah it just shows anything uh, so i assume that works um so for about some other content types i have uh, opened up a couple of links before so let's try to save one video from mkbhd so i'm gonna open up this quickly pause it so there's no audio and uh, i'm gonna click this plus icon and we'll see if that can okay so that's like a add it to your mind i can add text to it maybe apple we'll see what's happened gonna happen uh, and I'm gonna open my mind and the video is right here so it recognizes uh, it is a video by having this play button uh, YouTube link right here if I click plus I can actually watch it right there that's good I don't need to go into detail and go into like the detail of the video on YouTube I can just play it here it automatically added a couple of tags right here that's that's pretty good nice let's try to add like a website uh, bookmark. So this is one of my favorite sites I just uh, saw on Site Inspire, which is uh, like my main go-to site for uh, web design inspiration. So we have added that to that mine as well, to our mine as well, and uh, Ultralink store. So I have a product that I would like to save. And I'm wondering if that's gonna show like a price or like an order button right in the tool. That would be pretty interesting. So let's add it to our mine as well. And since we are talking about design, I can probably say something from Dribble as well. So let's open up this shot from my colleague Adam, and then we can add it to our mind as well. And we have we should have a couple of new content in our library. So let's click into my mind, and it's slowly filling in. We have the the product with the price actually. That's pretty good. We have the bookmark from uh, the Get uh, Superfluid. We have the the link from Dribbler here. So we have the different content types right now from links to images to GIFs to videos, everything. I'm gonna click this, this product first and it shows me short description. I can view the product 
there is some tags added automatically right away. Uh, I can link into the store and get it. If I open up this bookmark and uh, there is unfortunately no tags yet. So I get the, I guess that the tool takes a while to, uh, to kind of, uh, it takes a while to kind of recognize what it is and then, and, and then categorize it. But there's like a preview of the, like the thumbnail of the site I've just saved. And then if we have a dribble, we can probably see it, yeah, as a quick print screen in our library real quick. And then again, it takes a while to get tags. I would say that on Dribbble, it would probably be better to like move your mouse over an image, click the red uh, right button and add to the image itself to a mine. So let's, let's try to do that. And it's going to be, you know, duplicated, but yeah, you can see that this is a page and this is an image. I think this is way better because you can see all the colors and tags right away. So this is kind of filling in the library. There is also, I can add a quick note. So uh, I can do like a YouTube video and have a little like a note that can be part of my library as well. So some for some quick thoughts or something like that, that's, that's pretty nice. And what if we do an article as well and then we can, uh, we can click around a little bit more Let's do 99U, which is one of my favorite sites for, for articles, actually. And we can open up, for example, this one, which is like an interview article. And then we can click the, the button and it should be in our library as well. So I'm going to go mymind.com. Actually, no, access. So most people will probably save it as a, as a bookmark, as I read here. And, get there and there it is there's an article with a link if i click it there is a short description uh, description and i can view the full article and again it probably takes a while to get the the text there um so i think that's looks pretty good the, the library is already filling in uh, the last thing i wanted to look into is uh, the the settings so i can click that and it says that right now I can also save 88 more cards in as a part of my trial. So I assume that there's going to be probably some paid plan for more content. Um, there's no uh, iPhone app yet. Uh, that's that's uh, definitely uh, something I was not expecting since this is probably MVP. But you can still access my mind in, in a browser. And you can also send feedback if there's something you, you found as, as a bug or something you like. You can definitely message them and then sign out in the bottom. So this is sort of like your profile, your settings um, of the account itself. So let's go back to our mind and we can do some more searching. So we have a video right here. We have an article. What if we try to search for uh, like a content type? So we can do video and we, we see also the note we have added previously. We can do product. Oh, it actually shows like a product design as well, probably. And what if we do image uh, orange? Yeah, so you can even like combine different things and then get more into uh, what you're searching for specifically. But I think the first impression for me is pretty good. It works pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty easy to categorize everything because it uh, it's automatic, obviously. Um, so that will be probably the killer feature for me because every time I try to do, uh, every time I try to uh, use a similar tool like this, uh, I always spend a lot of time categorizing everything and then I gave up. So I think this is pretty nice. Um, the tool kind of the AI works it on its own, uh, and it really feels like extension of your mind. So uh, I can imagine myself using this for a while and then getting some more thoughts about it. But uh, as a first impression, I really like it. Uh, hopefully, uh, the tool will be available soon for for everyone to join, and uh, you can click around on your own as well. So um, if there is anything more, I will notice. I will definitely share it later. But for now, uh, that will be it. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.